Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Actually, maybe two because I think I took a video in Florida when I went, had to run into the Dollar Tree there. Um, I'm having some caramel macchiato and there's a black cat behind me and I think he might be coming this way. Alex is laying over here on the floor and I just got back from vacation. Hi baby. <laughs> The cats are enjoying me being home. Hi, huh, buddy. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. I gotcha. Ow. Sir, let's not scratch me. Ow. All right. We got a Dollar Tree haul, and it's going to be a fun one because I feel like we're getting back to school ready if we're going back to school. I don't think anybody knows, but Dollar Tree's on board. They also have fall flowers out, and I am not ready for that. Hi, baby. So, let's start with a food item, couple. I found the Sunkissed Pineapple. Let me tell you a little something something. So I bought on Amazon, which I need to find them. They are zip baggies that are like tall and narrow, like a freezer pop, and they have a zip top, and you make freezer pops. If you take two of these and 16 ounces, excuse me, two packets of flavored whatever flavor and 16 ounces of water yeah two cups but what i did is i put a quarter of a cup of vodka and three quarters of a cup and then the rest up to the two cup line the rest in um water and two of these it makes a great frozen popsicle and if you just do one um, two packets and 16 ounces of water. It's a nice, strong, like, popsicle flavor. So I grabbed two of those in the pineapple. Hey, baby. And then I found they have the Nestle Splash. My store had a ton. Uh, this is the fruit berry or wild berry. They had the lemon. They had a plain water, but they had a couple. And this is a full-size six-pack for a dollar. That'd be great for summer for your kids or... Start stocking up now if they take something like that to school in their lunches. So I grabbed that. Um, hi, baby. I picked up some of this shelf liner, the no slip stuff. Somebody, uh, many of you had recommended for my desk to keep my keyboard and my desk pad from sliding on the glass. So we're gonna try it. So I grabbed a spool or a, a what is this? 12 inch by 60 inch roll of it hi baby honey i need you to not be there okay yeah let's do that now i found in the sock section some of the women's extended size again i don't always find these but it's a two pack look how fun and this is for women's size oh okay honey no no these cats are crazy sweetie say hi to our friends no, yeah, no rubbing on the tripod. Um, so these are fun. Little aztec -y kind of thing, and then some polka dots. Um, these are going to go to my sister-in-law because she wears a size 10, I believe. So those are for her. And then for a stocking stuffer, because I know I'm saying the bad word, but I started for Christmas. This is not dollar... Oh, yeah, this is. But these are... Um, socks the no-show socks infused ouch, with aloe vera which i thought was so fun microfiber se legwear women's size um sock size 9 to 11 shoe size 4 to 10 i cannot wear these i don't know what it is but when i walk they slide right off my foot uh, but maybe i'll try them out i don't know but there is like uh silicone in the heel that should hold it and it looks like it goes over the toe but it's just one pair of no-show socks and I thought that would be a fun stocking stuff or something different you know so I grabbed those um, a little bit of crafty stuff I found these um, little crates with the handles and I thought would be really cute is to put some feet on them and then put a couple little pots of succulents in them and paint them or stain them up or something and let the plant, the succulents sit inside of that. So I grabbed two. We'll see what 
idea I have, but they're kind of a decent size, bigger, and you could like sack them up and make like a multi-tiered something or other, but I grabbed two, but they're fun little totes. So I have two of those, and then I grab two more sheets of cork. Um, when I see them, I just try to grab them because maybe I'll have some new ideas. I don't know. But I love this stuff, and I love the adhesive. It's very sturdy. So I grabbed that. And that was it that I found new in the Crafter Square section at my store. Was those, which the cork is not even new, and I don't feel like this is new either, but I didn't have them, so I grabbed two. Now, in the household section, I found this cup. I love this gla these glasses, and I have all different ones. I just buy one, and I have, like, Christmas. I have fall, summer, and this one has a bicycle on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But it has a bicycle on it, and it says, um, bloom where you're planted. Uh, funny enough, I also sliced my finger open on one of these and ended up with stitches. Just saying, be careful in the sink. But I grabbed one. I like to just get one, and I'm going to have like a shabby chic collection of them eventually. Um, okay. Most of this stuff is like school supply stuff, except for these bags, which I thought were adorable. It says, Oh, happy day. And on the front and the back is the same, the bottom is that navy. There's a little stripey on the side. And then the second bag that comes with it is this rainbow chevron. And I thought that was just adorable for a nice little, um, I think these would be considered like the medium or smallish size gift bag. It's not as large as this one. And then in the fruit collection, look at that, with the papaya, the lemon, the banana, the pear, watermelon, oh, and then on the sparkly one is flowers with gold. And then on the side, no gold. And then on the back, there's some gold, uh, the foil. I just love these bags, guys. And they're great for gifting. And this, so this is a little bigger than that. I think they're, well, no. A little wider and significantly taller. But they're great. And I just keep them in a drawer. And when I have a gift to give, I have a bag. Um, I picked up for myself some more of these pens. I really enjoy them. They're black. This is new precision tip rollerball pen, five millimeter, and I believe it's black ink. It doesn't say the other package I purchased was black. Um, I will say that at Christmas time I purchased these and used them to fill out Christmas cards, and they wrote really well. Oh no, nope, these this is blue. These are blue ink, not black ink. Yeah, these are blue, but look how smooth they write. I enjoy these a lot. Oh, duh, Lori, it says blue ink. I know, right? I've got the fan on, I'm hot today. I've been unpacking and ugh, cooking for the week. I have to actually go into the office tomorrow. This is Sunday. I have to go in the office on Monday. I'm not really happy about it. I mean, I'm not upset, but I prefer not to. Anyway, I enjoy these pens a lot, especially if you do like planner or calendars and things. They write really smooth. And then if you didn't know, my Walmart or my Dollar Tree sells Hallmark Expressions. These are blank note cards. This is an eight pack and it's just a blank note. And I send a lot of thank you cards out um, for different things like my Pelotonia fundraiser. Um, if you're interested, the link is below. But I take donations for that on a website, and it all goes to cancer research. But anyway, I use a lot of thank you cards, so I picked up another pack because I was running low on that. So that's just for me. I'm kind of obsessed about this little doodaddy here, friends. It is a pencil holder. Now, first of all, look at it. It looks like a book. You could totally put a book spine and do like three of them on your desk. So when somebody walks up, it's a book spine. But look how it holds your pens. And if you put them in upside down, the ink stays where it should. So you have, you know, something smaller up here. You have this one, this one, and then that down here. Is that neat or what? They had them in this clear color, and then they had them in black. 
solid black. But I like this clear. And I just think how fun it would be to print off some book spines and just, I don't know, it just, I think it would be fun. But, so they have these, this is the first time I've seen them. And obviously, you know, depending on what you're putting in here, you can just grab it off your desk, especially if you're working from home like I am now. Perfect. Now, something else new that I'm quite obsessed with. This container itself is not new, but the new colors for um, the storage containers, my store had them all out. I don't need a bunch of storage containers, but can you look at these colors, please? This blue, this pink, this salmon-y color, and these are great um, for kids. Lime, green, and blue. Guys, these are everything. So these are great for young kids um, for like stations if you're homeschooling or you have young ones you can put some scissors and glue and crafty things and they can take it to the table and just carry it you can fill snacks for the car ride for the kids if you're going somewhere maybe to a drive-in or some socially distancing thing and your kids need a juice box and some pretzels and popcorn whatever you know, movie night, you're going to sit in the living room. Everybody can have a little, their own little snack. You could personalize them. Uh, for me, I'm not sure, but I think they're going to hold some of my pens and markers and stuff. And then on a shelf, and when I need that product for that project, I can just grab it. Or individual crafting tools. A hot glue gun and glue sticks could go in here. Lots of things. But I'm obsessed with the colors, guys. Look at these colors. Aren't they everything? They had the whole line of their plastic storage containers in these colors. I'm super excited. I have no need for storage containers anymore, but I also have a kitty laying here and I get to rub his belly because he misses me. The kitties miss me. I know, right? Okay, so we got some back to school stuff. They have these on occasion, but uh, for my little cousin, for her book bag, it's a sloth on a rainbow, guys, and some lip gloss. I thought that would be super fun. She can hang it on her book bag, right? And this rainbow sloth is adorable, and the gloss is purple and it's glittery. And they had all different ones, but I thought this one was fun for her. So some chapstick or lip gloss for her, you know, book bag. Then I found, well, I'm going to send to her, it's a variety pack of paintbrushes, different sizes, shapes, and textures of bristles, depending on what she's going to do. So I'm going to send those off with her just to put in her art supply. But think about those in here with some paint and things as a little gift. That would be perfect. But I like that there was all different sizes and um, bristle types. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven pieces. I know, right? Fine. So I grabbed that, and then in the Crayola section, they have poster markers, and there's two packs for a dollar. In my store, they had the blue and the green, the pink and the purple, and then the red and the white. And the white will draw on dark poster board. And I'm going to take them out and show you. So these are fat project markers, but look at the size of that chisel tip. That is a big fat marker to make big posters, which I think will be really a lot of fun. And it's a name brand, it's Crayola. So I don't know about price wise if it's a good deal or not because I've never seen poster markers in the store. But if you got a kid that's going to school this year, you know, and they're in the grade where they're gonna be doing projects, this will be good to have on hand and keep back so when they come home and they have a project to do, or grandkids, you've got the markers, you can go to the Dollar Tree and grab some poster board and they can be all set. So I grabbed three of those. They'll just go off with um, school supplies and stuff. And they're called Project Poster Markers. I'm assuming they're made specifically for the Dollar Tree, but I don't know. So we grabbed some of those. Now, this, I'm saving the best for last, guys. I just don't even know what to say. I'm so excited. 
I have a happy planner. And a happy planner is a disc system. So you get these discs, right? And then there's a cut, a specific cut. And I, ha I actually have the paper punch. And what happens is these little papers grip that ring, that disc, and you can turn the pages, but you can pull them out and put them in. Dollar Tree has come out with a disc-bound planner set. What? Like, what? So I grabbed this for my cousin that she's going to be in like 7th or 8th grade this year. This set was $1. And this, it comes with a cover and a back that are both dry erase. So you can use dry erase markers on them. It comes with a, a unfilled out month at a glance. So they can fill out the month, the schedule, and all of that. It has some note sheets in here. Now it's pretty thin. It's a dollar. Then they have these. Three of them. They're stencils. So she can draw little things on each day. And she has some fun like stencils that she can fill in and stuff. And this is a three pack of those. Um, this is the month at a glance that you would fill out. So you would have a two-page spread that would be a month. And then she would just fill out her days of the week, month, and all of that on those. They also have, this is a um, extra sheet. Uh, I think these are Monday through, yeah, Monday through Friday. So week at a glance. So you have your week that you can then also fill out and have a two-page spread of your week, the week. Think budgeting, think your bills, your kids, getting them organized. You, as an adult, organizing your kid's schedule. Then they had, in two separate sections, dividers. So this one, it is monthly, weekly, notes, and then three blank dividers that you can put anything you want in, in these two designs. So this is the polka dots. And the black polka dots, so we can see. I'm gonna give these to Addie to go with her planner. And this is just something she can try if she likes it. So you have uh, monthly, which is the black and white polka dot. And these are pretty heavy. Oh, what's that? Has a sticker on the back. I'll have to get that off. Black and white stripes. Marble. Hello with marble, marble and pink, and then black and white polka dots. And they don't have to go in this order, but this is the order they would go in if you had them set to say that. If not, you can just flip them over and go a different direction. So I'm going to give her this because she can build this planner to be however she wants it to be, right? I'm going to put these back in there. And then they have a second set that I'm going to keep for me. So I'm going to take them out. Here, I'll put that away in a minute. This is the one I'm going to do for me. My hands are clean. I know I just licked, but this is mine. These dividers have the floral. Oh, and the orange on the back. This one says, find beauty in all things. And it's just plain teal. This one says, focus on the good. I love this floral, guys plain floral like how beautiful is this and they can be turned either direction depending because you're just snapping them on those rings um, and then there's this is just note paper so what I'm gonna do is run back tomorrow and grab a few of this note paper and create just a notebook for me I think we'll see and then if you want to build your own book so I'm just going to make a notebook. I don't want a planner. This package here comes with enough two covers and two backs. So you can make two notebooks, 2020 and 2020, but they also have stickers. I can just put a sticker over that. Or make it a big notebook, you know, and have this in the middle to separate. You can build whatever you'd like. They have the small little discs and they have large discs this is small uh, I think 
That's probably the same size. Yeah, that's the same size. But they also had a bigger one, which was would hold more paper. I mean, how exciting is this, guys? For a dollar, I will tell you here and now, I pay way more than this for my Happy Planner stuff. Now, here's the one thing, because there's always a thing, right? Um, the paper isn't as thick as the Happy Planner paper, so you gotta be gentle. Or what you could do is take some tape, if you had a hole punch like this. It's a specific hole punch. I happen to have the hole punch, but you could reinforce these pages if you want. That works as well. But I think these are amazing deal. I mean, this whole notebook, this whole thing for her, if I gave her all of this stuff, right? So two, three, four, six dollars, and she can create herself her own personalized planner to work for her life, get her school organized, get her sports organized, get all the things together, and then have it for the school year. I just think it's awesome. And a fun find. I'm trying to get this back in while we chit chat. So that, so far, is what I have found at the Dollar Tree. Um, I love this back to school time, not going to lie. I do a lot of shopping for my little cousins, get them ready. We're just kind of waiting to see what their school year is going to involve. But for now, all of this will go into um, a box for her and we'll get ready for back to school. And then she can have all the time she wants to make herself organized. So guys, that is everything. Um, at the end, after this, there will be another short video of what I purchased in Florida at the Dollar Tree there. We needed some things while I was on vacation. And I will chat with y'all later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. That helps my channel immensely. I will talk to you later. Bye. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm in Florida. Some of the stuff we're using while I'm here, so I wanted to show you and what I'm going to use it for. So first and foremost, I grab this bag. It is a, it says enjoy the ride. It's got a bicycle. Do I need more of these? No, but I needed to take the stuff home. And it has cute polka dots on the side. I love the color. These are great bags. So I grabbed one of these. Okay, I grabbed a pan. These are great for baking on vacation. They're not the sturdiest, but they're great for baking. They're great for cooking bacon, and you can throw the whole thing away. What I'm using this sheet pan for is Addison. My little cousin and I are gonna do an experiment. We're gonna put some ocean water in here and see if we can get it to evaporate and leave salt behind and make sea salt. So I grabbed a pan to do that. We, we did not have, I forgot, the lunch baggies that I bought so I grabbed another pack of those this is great it's a bonus uh, 29 of these zip baggies just to pack snacks and stuff when we're out running around those are great to have oh, I found some fabric red and white gingham I love it cute so I got that um, we needed more trash bags for our condo so sometimes they have them sometimes they don't and they have the glad and there are seven trash bags and these smell like Hawaii, and yeah, this will last us for the whole week. So I grab these, let's smell them, shall we? And I'm also on the hunt for Dunkin' Donuts because I need a nice coffee before I go back across the bridge to the beach. Oh, that smells good. It smells like the beach. Tropical. Oh, I got something on my glasses when I took that sniff. Well, we won't be having that, but they smell delicious. And if we need more, I can always come back. Not a big deal. I just don't want to buy big quantities of things and then have to, you know, carry them home. But I will tell you, things are more expensive when you go on vacation. So if you can bring the things like that, although the Dollar Tree is the Dollar Tree. Um, but the grocery store we went to last night was a Publix. And they had individual, like little small of ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, everything like that, like little tiny travel sizes, which was really cool. I didn't buy any, but it's very expensive, so. Then there's that. I have something on my glasses, guys, and a football under my chin. I grabbed this. Uh, Riley might wanna play catch in the pool, so I thought that would be fun for him. He's a teenager, they do that, you know. 
One of my cousins has a birthday on Friday, so I grabbed her a card to wish her a happy birthday. I need to... That's what I'm saying. I had to show you all this stuff. I will probably pair this with another Dollar Tree haul, but I'm going to be using a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm not using this, but I've not seen this size at our stores at home, at my store anyway. I think this is an inch, it's a one inch ring for my floss when I do cross stitch. And this is a good size for smaller projects. I don't need the big old ring. You can do a lot of stuff with these. They're great. Um, they are a binder or book rings. So they snap together and you can do lots of things with them. But typically I use them for crafting. We are a game playing family, so I picked up left, center, right. This is a fun game. Sometimes with the kids we play for candy and they get to keep what they win. But this has some chips with it. Play for nickels, quarters. It's just a fun, fun game. And then we found out that in the room they did it in our condo. They didn't have any like hand towels or like kitchen towels. I just grabbed a couple cheapies that we can use and then toss or leave there. I'm not gonna bring them home, but I grabbed, and these are, they're not not—they're not great. These are the cotton towels though. They are 100%, so they are absorbent. They're just not fantastic, but they're gonna be good for what we need them for for a week, as well as a drying mat. Um, I know I use them. I know my cousin uses them at her house, so I just grabbed this. They're fine. Again, vacation. Put our cups on. Let things dry. I forgot shower gel. How do I forget shower gel? I don't even know, but I just grabbed some of this. It's orange jasmine. It smells good. Here's the thing. It's soap, and it will clean my body, and I will not worry about driving it home with us. And then the last thing I got, which is fun, it's a little... I think it's a whale or a dolphin I'm not sure anyway it holds rings and I thought that was super cute and appropriate because I'm at the beach Ooh, one last thing I forgot so <laughs> fun fact I don't I'm not a huge I, I wear tennis shoes but I'm not like a huge on vacation I prefer sandals but uh, my cousin had picked we did a big order and my shoes came in and I don't have any socks with me, but I have shoes. So I just grabbed cheapy three pack of socks. So at the evening when we walk, if I want to put my tennis shoes on to wear, I have some socks. Or um, if you've been on vacation in Florida, you'll know that con a lot of the condos or beachfront properties do not have carpet. The floors are like ceramic tile. Just easier to take care of. Totally get that. However, they're dirty because we drag yuck in with us on our feet and shoes and stuff. So the floors aren't always tidy. So um, I probably will wear a pair of those socks around the condo at night because my feet, when I got in bed last night, I had to get up and go wash them. They were really nasty. So if I wear the socks, I can just take them off, let them be dirty and throw them in the wash or toss them. All right, All right let's go find some coffee. I hope you enjoyed this part one of my Dollar Tree haul, and I will talk with you later.